and after that we will uh, follow these step to follow which will help us to uh, create some of the settings required for one way ssl setup so to understand the one way ssl let's try to understand this particular figure it comprises of certain entities like client server there is a client store there is a client key store and the server key stores so the key things first uh, key stores are being used to store very specific or you can say private and protected keys it could be private key or private certificate whereas the trust stores are namely used for public uh, credentials like public certificate public keys uh, public uh, keys are being used for encryption purpose and uh, it is being decrypted using the private keys so having said that let's start with the flow there is a first request being generated from the client side towards the server it is known as the client hello it asks for some access to the protected resources from the client to the server side server in response to that share its public certificate and respond back with a hello message again to the client now what client will do it will validate the server public certificate validity within its client trust store where there is a ca authority is enabled for the validation purpose based on the validation result if it is a successfully validated then uh, a symmetric session key is being generated using the same server public certificate and it is being shared back from client to the server now server will take up this symmetric session key and it will decrypt this session key using its private server key and it is being placed in the server key store so step fifth is showing the same now based on the in this particular action whether server is able to decrypt that uh, symmetric session key or not if it is able to do so then server will respond back with the encrypted session key back to the client and it will complete a uh, one way ssl handshake and it will it will start a secured uh, https connection between the client and the server now anything shared between the client and the server from step 6 onwards it will be in one way ssl encrypted mode so there are some steps which we need to follow uh, the first step will be to generate the server side key store that is this one so in order to generate it we uh, need to make sure uh, the java jdk is installed in our machines so you can check it using java hyphen space hyphen version and it will give back some uh, results out of it second step would be to create a public certificate out from the server key store because this server key store will be having the public certificate as well as the private keys of for the server only the public uh, certificates are being shared to the to the external world private keys are never being shared now the second step will help us to uh, export the public certificate from this server key store and this will be used by this client and it will be imported into the client trust store so step 3 is doing the same so server public crt it is trying to do so uh, without any further ado let's try to run these commands and get started uh, i will end up this particular uh, powerpoint presentation and i will go back to my command prompt so i am on this uh, uh, ssl folder and i will do ls let's see and basically i need to clean up uh, all the things so what i will be do i will uh, i will create one more folder maybe mkdir one way ssl and ls i will go inside this and i will clear up the screen and here i am going to uh, start all these commands so the first command uh, okay so to check the version java hyphen version you can check and it will revert back the version of the installed java jdk i am using 180251 version and uh, you you should be also having uh, the similar version because we all are on the studio 760 and it is compatible with that so we are going with the first step i am just keeping this both these window in parallel just to make sure we are on the same page 
so the first thing is key tool uh, hyphen gen key hyphen alias uh, I am putting mulesoft hyphen server you can put any name hyphen key size I am using the default 2048 but you can use any any combination like 4096 depending upon the level of encryption you need then the key algo I am using the default RSA you can use any anything apart from RSA as well there are multiple key algorithms are being available next thing is the key store then uh, we have to specify the server hyphen key store dot jks instead of jks if someone wants to have a different format uh, i think jkecs and uh, there is one more format which is being allowed from the mule 4 side so i will i will show you that as well in parallel so i will hit enter now and let's see what happens it is asking me for uh, the key password so i will put it very simple as mulesoft it will ask me again i will put the same mulesoft hit it again uh, i will put localhost maybe you can put anything uh, i can put uh, okay okay you can put the uh, details uh, accordingly and uh, yes uh, the same password which i have entered earlier that is mulesoft so now uh, this particular uh, 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 server side key store is now generated we will be starting with the second step that is to export the public certificate from the server key store so to follow that key tool and hyphen export hyphen alias maybe we can put mulesoft hyphen server hyphen key store then server let's see it should come up yeah it is coming up hyphen file server hyphen public dot crt so what it is going to do it is going to export the public certificate that is server hyphen public crt from server key store jks that which we have created in the previous step so let's hit enter it is asking you the password the same password i will put it again so now it is available so let's do a ls quickly so i can see server key store and server public crt both are available now the final step in one way ssl is to place or import the public certificate into the client trust store so how to do that uh, key tool hyphen import hyphen alias i need to be double sure about the spellings then mulesoft hyphen client hyphen public hyphen key store then client hyphen trust store trust trust store dot jks hyphen file then server hyphen public crt so what this uh, import statement will do basically it is going to create uh, a client trust store and uh, it will it will put or import the server public certificate over there so this is about that let's hit enter i will put the same password once again so i believe it is the same yes so what I will do, I will do a ls and let's see what are the contents available. I am having client trust store, I am having server keys to JKS and server public CRT. So these are the three which I need and I will go to my Anypoint Studio now. I will go for one way SSL, the name of the project. I will click on finish. I will quickly drop this listener, maybe one set payload. and good to have a logger as well so i will like to rename this one way ssl flow as one way ssl hyphen server and i will uh, configure this very quickly so in order to configure it first let's go back to our desktop 
inside SSL, inside one way SSL. Try to copy paste all these three into SRC main resources. I will tell you why it is required over here. So I will click on this plus sign, we'll convert it to HTTPS, we'll rename something here and there, and we'll put server just to uniquely identify it and go to the uh, go to have 8082 i will click on tls and edit inline so this is the server side so server side is having a key store key store is of type jks uh, and the path will be server hyphen key store dot jks okay now the alias alias what was the alias let me go back to so I said alias was mulesoft hyphen server okay so mulesoft hyphen server although i think it is optional in nature but let's put it i will put mulesoft i will put mulesoft and that's pretty much of it i will click on ok and uh, We'll put this as SSL one way. In set payload, let's try to put something tested one way SSL. So I will put the same thing in the payload. That's pretty much. So this was the server side. In order to test it, we need to have a client as well. So what I will do, I will drag and drop one more and we'll rename it as uh, client. So in client as well, we need to set up the HTTP listener, but not HTTPS. It will be HTTP client maybe. This will be fairly simple. Uh, I will put it as test is going to do it is going to make a request on this one way ssl now we are configuring the client side of it i will click on this configuration plus and it is going to be https from client so it is from the client side okay so it is will be it will be localhost and this will be 082 and we need a TLS configuration edit in line and uh, on the client side we need to have this trust store setting okay so remember that thing and look out for client hyphen trust store dot jks be very specific about the names and the password will remain mulesoft it is JKS. So I was telling about JKS and JCKS. PKCS12 is also being supported. So during the uh, this particular uh, commands, it gives something as well, right? JKS key store uses proprietary format, use PKCS12. So it automatically gives the uh, uh, the command uh, to convert the JKS to PKCS12 format as well. Optional, but uh, depending on the choice i will click over here and the path was ssl one way if i am not wrong okay so that's pretty much of it let's try to run this it will take some time to load on the application Why I have put it uh, the trust store key store public at this particular level so that during the configuration I just need to mention the name of these artifacts not the entire path like within a folder then slash or something like that. I will clear the console and uh, I will I will like double check the path that is test. I will go back over here and make a call to test. Let's hit the send button and let's see what happens tested one way SSL so tested one way SSL so it is coming out from this particular log that is which we have set in this set payload 
So it seems uh, the one way SSL is configured and it is working perfectly fine. I hope you like this video and before we wind up I would again like to touch base the concept of one way SSL just to uh, keep uh, refreshed in memory. One way SSL is only the validation from the client side there is no uh, validation at the server side one of the quality of one way SSL. The SSL flow starts from the client side requesting the server to give access to some of the protected resources. It sends it along with a hello message. Server rever reverts back with a public certificate along with the hello message. Then this server public certificate is being taken up by client and uh, uh, it is being validated uh, in the trust store of client. If there is a C authority, it, it is being validated accordingly. Depending upon the result set of that particular uh, public key, a symmetric session key is being generated using the same uh, server public key and it is being sent back as a step 4 to the server. Server will take up this, uh, uh, this particular uh, encrypted session key and decrypt it using its private key uh, using the server key store. If it is being decrypted properly, server will again create a new encrypted uh, session key, and it will be sent back to the uh, it will be sent back to the um, client in order to establish the connection. For any encryption, public keys are being used. For any decryption, private keys are being used. All the uh, public certificates, public credentials are being maintained at the trust store level all the private and secure protected information, private keys, private uh, certificates are maintained at the respective key store level. And to step to follow, the first thing is to set up the server key store. So the first step was to generate the server side key store. The second was to generate the uh, public uh, certificate server side using this uh, server key store. And the third was to uh, import that public certificate into the trust store of client side. So these were the three steps and after that we configured the uh, one way SSL certificate within the mule flows during towards the client side uh, towards the server side we need to set up the uh, key stores. So you need to go to the TLS and the key store is being set up and on the on the Client side of it, we need to set up the trust store. So here we have set up the trust store, you can see in the TLS. And after that, uh, we have uh, executed it using the postman or you can use any other uh, tool, whatever suits you. So this was a uh, very short uh, demo about one way SSL. I hope you like this video and thanks for watching.